sometimes I use my Blackmagic 6K as my main camera, especially if I record something about A6600 and I have to keep it in my hand. Then I use Blackmagic and in most cases it is somewhat rigged. There is for sure half cage SSD drive follow focus plus one of my lenses and there is also battery plate and some other stuff and the rig weights two kilos plus in most cases two up to three kilos if i use sigma 18 to 35 but i also can attach monitor there so my heaviest rig is like four kilos which is quite heavy and you need a sturdy tripod for this so you can use the heavy duty full length tripod or get something to use this rig on the tabletop but this is kind of tricky so before i use this thing it is joby gorilla port 3k pro and 3k means that it can support up to three kilos but lately i got my black magic setup with really small canon lens so the whole rig was around two kilos and i i spread the legs because the center of gravity of like magic 6k is weirdly placed but i spread legs like that and try to record something i went for the coffee and i got my black magic 6k here on top of the jobby and i got my seven inch monitor connected via hdmi and was standing on a different tripod and when i went back i was and I was really really lucky because when I went back one of the legs was falling over and the camera was almost touching the desk but it was not that it was really slow bend but it started to accelerate and it was actually almost hitting the desk so I, I grabbed it this also pulled the monitor uh, via the cable but I grabbed the monitor too but mistake of using the jobby might cost me the camera lens and the monitor so would be a costly mistake so i do not recommend this piece of garbage because it is only good for the camera which weighs less than one kilo anything heavier this would bend this will fall and and, and another thing is that both of the screws loosen over time when you got something heavy the screws unscrew themselves and both the the head screw and and the plate screw so that's not the only thing that this can bend and fall but this can also unscrew here so i do not recommend this with any heavy camera or any pricey camera i got some other tabletop tripods but they are quite small and they are not they are not very stable with the heavy rig so they can tip over if they are extended to the maximum height so i dig down the youtube abyss and i've seen some reviews of heavy duty camera tripods and i got this guy it is benro hh75 av 75 because it got 75 millimeters ball for the video heads it is really small and can be compacted to the small size it's quite heavy it's like one and a half kilograms but it is very stable and sturdy so seems like a good solution for heavy cameras and they claim it can support up to 75 kilos of the gear i kind of believe it it for sure can support 20 kills it seems really really tough so it's just a tripod and you need a ball head to use it they do not include the ball head to flat head converter which is shame but they include the knob to screw your 75 millimeters ball head this knob is dedicated for this tripod because you can spread the legs 
because you can spread the legs to this position and then if you got your original knob it can be too too long and you cannot use it in this position so this knob is useful but I do not have the video head so I was afraid I won't be able to use it but I'm actually able to use it with my ball head because the mounting screw is long enough to allow me to screw this in kind of securely this is 3 8 of an inch screw so I ordered a longer one and then I would have it really secure but we use metric system in Poland so we got plenty of metric screws and I can buy one meter of 10 millimeter screw for one buck but we do not have imperial screws so <laughs> it's it is really hard to find one so the six centimeter screw is like five bucks here but five bucks is less than a conversion kit because the conversion kit is 50 bucks at least the burner one you got some third party options but they got longer knobs so they won't work with the highest position of of this so the, the head is 75 millimeters diameter and diameter of of my ball head is 63 millimeters that's why i can mount it easily here i have to screw this tight in and there is additional plate for my tripod so if i put it like that The pan knob is high enough not to hit the rim of the tripod and then using the included knob I can tighten this down and I got really really sturdy connection although the screw is kind of short that's why I decided to get longer one to get this really really secure because it's like three threads on the bottom and the three threads on the top in the in the head so it, if I put 10 kilos it may break so longer screw is recommended but generally the connection is quite good this is just the tripod so nothing to talk about really but it seems really really heavy duty and it got plenty of options to both adjust the height and adjust the the tripod to the terrain because you can use it outdoors and there are plenty of options to put it it comes with the rubber legs which you can screw out But I guess I would use this on my tabletop. It comes in the back, but I really don't care about the back. But it also comes with the heavy duty rubber feet, which are adjustable. But the only problem with them is that they squeak. Yeah. If you have to adjust the tripod while the recording, the sound is horrendous. But I guess you set them up and they stay in the same position so they won't squeak but since each of the legs can be adjusted separately then you can if you are on, a, on an uneven terrain then you can adjust every leg put this feet in and adjust it and you can still level this up so it is a nice option to have this and there are there are also spike feet included so plenty of options to mount it and you got two Allen keys and some other key to adjust the tripod and regarding the options you can move the feet into three positions like flat middle and the highest and then you got like three inches of space to adjust the height via the feet length and you can put a lot here and it's really 
sturdy and stable. So this is how it looks with Blackmagic 6K mounted on top of it. And this setup is 3.5 kilos. It is Blackmagic Sigma 18 to 35 follow focus battery plate SD drive 7 inch monitor so it is more than 3.5 kilos it's almost 3.6 kilos and I can also mount mic here and the handle and it would go to 4 kilos I guess this position is the best for the talking head videos it is like 18 centimeters here but around 30 centimeters from the sensor to the tabletop and if I'm sitting across the camera then it's probably perfect height but you can adjust it because both these legs got three positions and you can also move this part of the leg in and out you got like seven centimeters around three inches here so you can adjust both the height and the, how legs are spread and with this it is almost impossible to even shake the camera and the center of gravity of this rig is quite high but you cannot tip this over even if i put it like that it's still going back I I even struggled to lift it so it is really 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 sturdy and it doesn't move if you press it so it's really sturdy I guess my desk would collapse faster than than this thing so a really really nice piece of gear and it doesn't end here because because here you got screws you can unscrew you got three of them and you can mount stuff here and this is one fourth of the inch thread so for example i can mount magic arm here it's lame magic arm but still and put an accessory here like for example this light which is part of my lighting setup and it would just light my face from from the bottom and so some kind of the field light and it works quite nice you've got three of such mounting holes and it is one fourth of the range thread but but if you remove the insert then it becomes three eight and you can put even something heavier here for example via such connector or just put something here for example a mic and you're good to go it's better to mount mic on the magic arm or anything adjustable but the option to mount additional accessories is really really nice you can then easily move hold the recoil all the accessories to different place or different setup so this could be used for talking head videos and also for stuff like interviews you can use this instead of a big legs which in most cases costs like 500 up and even one and a half for Satchler so it might be good alternative for interviews also i guess it's really nice for outside shot especially low angles so i will definitely use it like that soon although it is better to use this with the real video head not the ball head but uh, i do not have one i hope i would get one in the future but it's hard to decide because all of them got some flows maybe except 2k bucks sachlers or suchlers so at the moment it's not an option for me but for talking head videos for my setup this tripod is just ideal i'd say and it is less than 200 bucks in poland i've seen it on 
Amazon.com for more than 200, like 210 bucks. And German version of Amazon is like 300 euros plus, but it is worth it every penny, at least at the moment. The quality seems really good and, and it is really, really sturdy. Although I guess it's better to use it with the real video head. But if you don't have one, then there is an option to mount this one either via the screw with the included knob or you have to buy additional uh, conversion kit which converts the 75 millimeters ball to the flat head but it is additional 50 bucks so uh, there are also third party options for the conversion kit and it starts from uh, 20 bucks but the handle then is longer so you lose the opportunity to put it on the lowest angle so this is the lowest angle also might be useful it for example depends what tabletop you use if you use something higher and you want to use it for interview then it might be a better option like that and this is the highest option uh, the highest option is 26 centimeters to the top of the ball and almost 40 here and it's too high for talking head but I wouldn't use this with a really heavy camera because it might tip over. It doesn't tip over easily, but if someone bounces it on it, it might be a case. It is still very stable, but with legs spread it out, it's more stable. But also you got options to, to unscrew the legs and make it smaller and then of course you can spread the legs so we got like six options of the height when you move the feet to the minimum and maximum position but then you got actually infinite number of position because you can screw the leg in whichever position you want so there are plenty of options of the height although you are limited by minimum and maximum height of the of the stand with lowest of them all it also depends on the head you got but but the height of the ball can be a reference so but it depends on the height of the head so but still this distance is the reference if you know if you know height of your head then you know what options you got but then you can regulate this uh, via this collapsible leg so plenty of options so far i'm really happy about that although i need a longer screw here to be 100% sure that the head won't fall off so far I would recommend it I will I will check it in close future because I got some videos planned that's why I, I got it but you can also buy this as other brands I've seen some reviews of the tripods which look identical but they got different logo I guess there would be a newer and there was something Indigo or something like that. Doesn't matter which brand it is. It just seems it's the same Chinese guys making them. But the quality seems really, really nice. And it, it seems really, really st sturdy. I wonder how long the locks would work. Because it, this seems to be the only thing which may fail. The rest you can adjust with the allen key so shouldn't be a problem so now i'm not afraid of putting my 6k on the tripod because it's a heavy duty one and please do not use joby with anything heavy that's it highly recommended so far because i just used it for two days so far so good if something breaks i would let you know but everything is made of metal and i guess it's a good option to have a real video head with 
75 millimeters ball but I do not have one and I'm, I'm researching them they are pretty darn expensive so at the moment I'm using this with my ball head but you need a longer screws like at least two inches and I got six centimeters one ordered so it's like two and a half inches should be more secure but it is still still secure but if you put something heavy I want to be on the safe side so far highly recommended cheers mate